and I'm back already with the next pour but um, I was gonna do it on this thing but I don't think it's gonna work but we're gonna do it anyway we'll see what happens if it doesn't turn out pretty we can always swipe it and do ribbons on top or whatever we want to do but this time I'm going to uh, put all the colors in one cup and then pour on top of this so um, I thinned down the the paint because I thought it was a little bit too thick there are some air bubbles in it and there are um, there is uh, silicone in all colors because I did that with the uh, with the last uh, pour so we're gonna put it all in here and of course the turquoise because I kinda like the way that looks and some of this really beautiful pink that's it that's about all there is in it I'll top it off with a little bit of pink and the rest of the purple because we want to have enough paint to fill the whole canvas there we go now I'm not gonna do any stirring in the cup I'm just gonna pour it straight on top here let me put this a little bit back so I don't get my head in the picture okay here we go let's do this now I'm not seeing anything I really like yet but we'll see <laughs> oh boy you just have to experiment sometimes that's the thing you have to do and then you know just hope you get something that you really like so that's a lot of paint I think that's enough paint I'm waiting it for it to drip all off here and then I'll take it off one two three whoops there we go mm, I think I kind of like this one oops over the side this one over the side and pull it down there it goes wow look at that that is beautiful and we haven't even torched yet so that's going over the side and now I'm going to torch it let's see what happens Ooh, that's a lot of cells people And along the side because we like cells coming along the side now that is kind of pretty but there are a couple of things I don't like so I'm gonna pour that off I don't like this bit here and that one down there so we're gonna make that move see how this is distracting it's gonna make that go away and this one too I don't like this one so we're gonna pull it down that way just make sure we don't drop the canvas now it's ready yeah maybe this pour this off too there it goes now it's not distracting anymore oh I really like the uh, cells on this look at that That is really pretty. Okay guys, I think we have one we really like straight after the pour. Gotta get rid of a little bit of excess paint. 
fill in those corners. Another corner that needs a little bit of fill in. There we go. And the rest is done. So getting off the excess paint. That's a lot of paint on the table, so we'll do something with that. But I'm going to put this one away. That is pretty, isn't it? Yes, I like this one. And it's, it's also calm enough to do something on top of it. Some sort of a transfer of a, or a painting. But you can leave it like this too. So let me put this away. That was the first purple one that I really, uh, I really liked. I think it's because it had a, a little bit of that pastel kind of color in it too. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. We're gonna swipe it up, let it come down, and this way too. And get our torch and then put it up here so you guys can see it. it. I can find some nice pieces to take out. Let's do that one more time. Maybe just lay one in here like this. Yes. And see what we get. Just a little bit of cells because the uh, the paint has already been manipulated too much so that it goes to one color. So there will be no more swipes from this paint. But I do like the lilac -y color so what I'm going to do is put it in a little jar. And there is of course uh, silicone in there. So this is what I, uh, which I will just, you know, save for later. You can do that. But I still have some good color left. So I'm going to do a couple of swipes with the good color. That's about a cup full, so that's 100 milliliters. That's it. Okie dokie. We got it. Now, I still have paint left in here, which I can use. I don't think you guys are in focus, but I'll just push this on. Squish it and pull it and see what happens with this. There it goes. That's kind of nice. I'll just keep one. I'm not going to keep that one though because I didn't I don't find it that pretty. But we can always put some of the purple on and some of this red stuff and then make sure your palette knife is clean on the bottom we pull it all up and pull it all down and let's see what happens here Ooh, that's some pretty cell action guys look at that that is pretty but I do want it oh that's my compressor
See, I do like when it comes down like this. Do I have my card here? Yes. Yeah. I'll show you why. See, when you cut out now, let me see if I can get the light on there. No, I can't. But see how much it's it's prettier than just having one of those swipes that go from left to right. So just by you know folding the card up a little and making that paint move, you get these pretty patterns. Let's just do this one more time here. And this goes really slow, but that's okay. But look at it. Now if you take that there's so much more going on in it than when you just swipe it. So you can choose to do that. Oop, running out of room. Now, one more. And these colors are not really my colors, but you know, just you know, to do something different. Sometimes you have to do something different. But I'm going to put on more turquoise. And a lot of purple. Oh, not a lot of purple. Almost run out of purple. That's that. And the light pink. That's that. Pull it all up. And come down with it. That's uh, pretty dramatic. <laughs> Not really colors I really like, but sometimes you have to make something that you don't like because, you know, not everyone likes your colors, so that's okay. That's how it works. But I'm going to see if, oh, that is a pretty piece here. See how that droops down? That is going to be awesome. So we're going to keep this one too. That is kind of cute. I'll give you a really, really close up. Let's see. There you go. See that? That is pretty. Okay, guys, this is it. I'm going to clean up a little bit more here from the table so I can keep this in my little jar for someday when I need this color. And you can keep this pretty long, you know, it's not just a couple of days. If you put a lid on it and it's airtight, you can use this for as long as it's uh, fluid, I guess. So I'm going to put the little lid on. Oops, you're not in focus. Now you are. So we're going to put the lid on here. Click it. And then it's airtight. And we can save it for some time when we need it. Okay. Now, thanks all for watching. I really love you all to pieces. I don't think I'll be coming back, well, maybe with a watercolor, because I came across my watercolor, um, I did a, a month, I think last year, and it is still as vibrant as I did it, so I want to show that to you guys, because um, I'm, I'm, I think I might do something with that, because I can do that in the living room where it's cool, because the heat in Holland is not letting up, it's just going to stay this way for, they're talking about October or something like that, so... We'll see what we can do, okay? Love you all to pieces. Have a fantastic Sunday evening. And I love you all to pieces, to pieces, to pieces. Bye-bye.